G'day, welcome back to the channel. You've tuned into the Pedal Picassos once again, but if it is your first time, thank you. My name's Rod. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, drop a comment in, be a part of the conversation. Delving deeper into the new X Trident again today. I've been through the presets, uh, the drives, the amps, delays, modulations, reverbs. I'm going to go through the, the FX block today because in there is um, some compression, some wahs, uh, and some pitch shifting. Um, and then I'll continue to build on this because there's, there's so much in this to unpack. At this price range, this price point, um, it's a really solid uh, option for a multi effects processor for live use for studio use. Coupled with the uh, the online uh, downloadable editor uh, that you can get for free and you can delve in, you can edit on the hardware, you can edit on the software, um, hooked up by USB, it's quite a simple process. Right, what have I got going first up? I've got um, a JCM 800 Marshall emulation. It's got a uh, an IR that comes stock standard with the um, the unit and it's um, Bogner. I, I'm looking at the the uh, <laughs> the naming of it and it's a 412 um, 412 T 75 V 30 one two one four two. One two one is probably the mic that's on it. The the seventy five watt V thirties vintage thirty or seventy five V thirties could be Celestians that are in this cap. Don't know, don't know. But the nomenclature gives us a bit of an idea of this IR. I'll go through IR loading because it's another option you can do. But I'm just demonstrating that this is the amp that I'm using for a Marshall tone. Um, reverb block is on. And it's a, a room reverb. I'll turn it off. That's dry. Put it back on. Just to give us some liveliness. I've also added the um, Parrot EQ. So, switched out. It's a nice sound but switched in with a, a bit of a mid-range flat curve, but a boost um, uh, about two and a half K with not a narrow Q, but something that's crossing between 1.5 to 3 K. Um, that's okay for me. You can fiddle around with the power EQ all you like. Um, you've got uh, four frequencies. You've got your um, high pass, low pass, low mids, and uh, high mids. You can adjust the Q and dial in a, 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 um, a curve to suit. I just wanted to get that that uh, raspy honk of a 4x12 cab. Right, that's what we're working with. So, but we're going to the FX block. Um, within the FX block and located on the unit itself, you've got the FX block here. Um, you've got options for compressor, filter, and pitch. And that's changing the icons on the software as well, as I go. You've got two knobs devoted to sensitivity and level on this side of the FX block. Um, and you can edit them on the hardware, you can edit them on the software. We'll go to the Dynacomp first up. If I engage it, I'm taking my, and I can engage with the software or via the hardware. Done it up, right? I've just got it to roll off some of the attack. So if I go to a single coil um, configuration on, on this Roadster, I can clean it up a lot. So that, that cleans up that tone nicely. You know, with a multi effects unit, you can be paralyzed with choice. Right? I've found if I'm going to use one of these live, I will dial in one amp sound, either a JCM 800 
or a Fender Deluxe. And then work in some pedals that I would use normally if I'm taking a pedal board and an amplifier out to a gig. So I'll have a couple of variations on, on gain, whether it's compression, um, boost by way of a clean boost or distortion, a tube screamer emulation, reverb and delay, preferably a tap tempo delay, um, a reverb um, to give me a perhaps a slapback style delay. Normally I'll take out two delays, one to give me a slapback delay and one that I can tap tempo for longer stuff. You can do that with reverb and then a modulation that you might bust out, you know, once or twice a night, whether it's chorus, whether it's a bit of wobble with tremolo or uh, some other kind of vibrato. Um, so with this... I'm just cleaning up that uh, Marshall 800. Cleaning up the attack. All right, you've obviously got adjustments for output and sensitivity, uh, compression sensitivity. And you can turn it into a solo boost as well if you want. Or you can try out one of the other compressors. So, what other compressors have we got? I hear you ask. Glad you asked. We've got the Red Comp. We've got the K Comp, which is a Keeley compressor. Um, it gives us sustain, level, and clipping. So, you've got um, another drive variant in here. <laughs> bring the clipping right up slow and fast on the um, tack or the compression effect so set slow with the sensitivity right up Look, it's, the sensitivity is very subtle. Um, I'll bring the clipping right back. Fast attack. Go back to a single coil. Very subtle in comparison to the, um, the red comp. You can really sort of feel the squish in the in the red comp. And the way that uh, the note sort of blooms or is released. Studio comp. Um, and you get a visual representation of what you're doing here. This is a good one to really clean up the tone. And even more so. Get a really springy, boingy, clean sound out of what was our first emulation. The JCM 800 rock, you know, your rock tone. So that's useful to use a compressor like that. Um, ratios, compression ratio, how it's going to be, your release time, um, level and attack. You're not seeing too much um, graphic um, change apart from threshold, gain, and uh, release. No, it was ratio, wasn't it? Yes, our ratio. All right, three different um, compressors. 
an envelope filter. Which is a nice, nice uh, emulation to have. So if you want to set a particular frequency, do we get a switch on that? No, we don't. That's just, uh, that's all for uh, just visual aid. And it seems pretty subtle. Parameters that we have. Ah, yes, we do have level controls and we do have trim controls. Right. Okay, so think of your trim control as you sweep on your wah and you'll fix it. Range. If you want a um, envelope filter. Neat. Base switch does nothing. Okay. Next in the effects is choice of wires. So I've hooked up um, a line six um, expression pedal here. The Clyde is fairly subtle. Crybaby wah is um, is quite quite good and sweepy. Now I haven't got my foot up on the bench here. Right, with adjustments for your sweep, uh, a selection of either a Clyde wah, which is pretty subtle, the Crybaby wah, and also a Vox 847 wah. Pick one, use an expression pedal, and you've got a wah pedal in your rig. I, I think that's, that's a really cool addition. Um, and I just plug that straight in and, and used it. It seems to work fairly well. You've got pitch emulation, you've got a pitch bender. Uh, graphic emulation of a whammy pedal. All right, so you can do pitch up, you can do pitch down. Um, Cool. And last in the FX is harmony. So, uh, expression pedal to this. I don't know. I'm sure you can adjust a parameter. Um, it's an intelligent harmony. So, C uh, major scale we've got selected here at the moment. You can go for minor. It's a little bit cheesy in the tracking. Working with C minor and E minor. Interesting. C major. If you're wanting some harmony in amongst your arsenal. Um, you've got balance controls. So you can mix the balance back. Harmonies, uh, octaves below, thirds below, fifths below, uh, thirds above. You get the drist, you get the, the gist, the grist and the gist. You get the gristle. You 
and you get some insanity with that. All right, that's the effect block. Like the other blocks, uh, you can pick it up and move it around. You can move it anywhere. You can move it after your amp or have it back before your amp. Before or after your boosts. A lot of noise if you have your distortion before it. Maybe giving you some artifacts if you're wanting your pitch clean. Put your pitch before it. <laughs> now, um, I will admit that I've had the, the tube screamer kicking this amp along. So there's my JCM 800. And I've had a tube screamer in there as well, just kicking that along a bit. But this has been about the FX block and those are the effects that are in it. I can twist the select knob to give you an indication of which are available. Those two, we can go back to our comps, three comps, filters, uh, an envelope filter and selection of WAS. Let us know if you've been uh, trucking along with one of these. Um, I've still got some, some detail to go into IR loading. Um, I'll create some patches for you just to see how simple it is and store them and recall them. Um, and we'll see, see you next time, yeah? Thank you.